Typical. Bloody typical. Good morning my fellow trucketeers. Today is Friday the 5th of April and we are heading to Barnstable today. I'm already an hour into the journey. Uh, uh, pretty much. Uh, I've got about another hour and 45, 50 minutes to go. So yeah, that's exciting. I think I've got five drops today, I think it was. Uh, a couple in Barnstable, Ilfracombe, Wellington. I've got to go to. <coughs> so yeah, going to be a lot of driving more than anything today. But, should be alright. Yeah, it's currently, yeah, it's, it's seven minutes past six. Yeah, I've been on the road for an hour now. Exciting times. Alright, now I'll see you in just over an hour, or just under two. Aha! Barnstable in North Devon. Lovely place. <laughs> oh, oh dear, I clipped the roundabout. Oh, it, wow. Brushed it, we'll say. Never mind. Just have three hours of driving that wore me down a bit. Why have you changed in the fifth? I'm going uphill, you idiot. That's better. Now you can change in the fifth. There we go. Stay in the power curve. Yeah, not too bad a drive actually. It's been a little sort of on and off rain on the way up. It's going to be a wet day all day, I think, anyway. But there you go, British weather. As lovely as can be. <laughs> the weather's been a bit touch and go lately. It's either been 17 degrees sunny, 18 degrees Celsius, that is. Or, like, the past couple of days had hail and it's been quite chilly. Uh, it's just how it goes, isn't it? Right. Pretty sure I've done this customer before. I've only been to Barnstable once before anyway, and the first two customers I've got, I'm pretty sure I've been to both of them anyway. Because <coughs> I don't think we've delivered to that many places this way. <coughs> hey, once these two are done, then that's, that's uh, pretty much heading home after this, these fast two drops. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if Ilfra comes further away or closer. Uh, that's just my lack of knowledge on that, in this part of the country. There you go. Right, let's head down here to my first customer and get these five or six pallets that is offloaded. If I remember, it's just down here on the right. in their driveway. Hopefully there's someone there to unload me. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, that uh, is that delivery done. It's quite easy. It's five pallets off. Well essentially seven. It's actually seven, but yeah, uh, two of them are stacked up on another two, so five lifts, not too bad. All right, I've got a little printers to do that are literally around the corners, and I'm off to Ilfracombe to do a delivery. I 
think it's the same place. It's, it's three invoices. Each invoice is saying a different name, but they're all the same industrial state and the same postcode. So I'm going to presume, because two of them on the manifest say the same name, and one of them is different, but I don't know, I'll figure it out sort of when I get there. I'll have a quick look ski on the old intranet, and then uh, we'll go from there. Now, this printer is literally half a mile away, so I might as well just take you in, take you for the trip. Right, I'm going to have to take this corner wide because then van's parked there because I won't get out otherwise. Not with that mountain the curb. Probably just someone's shock and surprise as they come down here and see me on the other side of the road, but never mind. Still going to mount the curb, I think. Yeah. Not a lot I can do about that one. <clears throat> so that'd be a catch 22 if they take on your driving test down there and say, right, you've got to go down this road, turn around and come back out again without mounting the curb. Yeah, it would be impossible. Thank you. Anyway, I think uh, on one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, I said my truck's 40 foot long. I knew it was roughly that, but 40 foot long is about 12 meters. My truck's actually only 11 meters, which is 36 foot long. So I'm, I'm four foot off, you know, massive amount of difference, but still, thank you very much. Yeah, so my truck is 36 foot long. It's just fantastic. <laughs> there you go. Where are you taking me? You're taking me up around there. Alright, so I'll go right around this roundabout, and I think last time it was very, very tight. So I'm going to go extra, extra wide this time. Yeah, look at my indicators, love. I need a lot of room. She was going to pull out, she thought I was going to go straight on. There we go. <laughs> oh, people are coming this way. Yeah, last time I come here and done this printers, I had nine pallets for them. <laughs> I had a lot of weight on for them, but today I've got one tiny weeny little pallet. Okay, it's still what? 145 kilos, but it's better than like six tons. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Come on, people, go. Light changed green hours ago. <laughs> oh, there's a bin just abandoning the road there. Try not to hit it. Go block the entrance up to the garage and get this delivery off, done and dusted. Shouldn't take too long. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so that's delivery done. Nice and easy, one pallet off, tail lift. And there's an old man right by my arse end. Oh, I went in now. Oh, pardon me. Got to check, make sure your arse and don't swing out into the bath and kill anyone, yeah. <laughs> Smush them against the wall or something. You know. No, it doesn't not look very good on you, it makes a hell of a mess. <laughs> yeah, so that's that one done nice and easy. Now I'm heading to Ilfracombe, which is actually, I suppose, technically in a way further away. Uh, it's just up where I come from. I don't know. I don't know, difficult to explain. I had to come down the M5 to get the junction I needed to come this way on the main road. But I got, got, got up to Ilfracum, which means I've got to go up. But I don't know if I have to come back down from there to hit the main road again, or whether I can cut through. So it's potentially further away, but also potentially closer. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, it's only nine and a half miles away, so I'm going to head on over that way. 
and hopefully things ain't too bad. 22 minutes is quoting me, which I don't mind at all. 22 minutes is not long in the grand scheme of things. And away we go. Tally ho! Alright, almost at the delivery now. Oh, just over three and a half minutes away, mile and a half. And I've had to drive down some lovely roads to get here. <laughs> They weren't too bad, but I have had to sort of like straddle the white line the whole way pretty much. Because it's just like rocks and trees and houses and signposts and volcanoes and meteorites, spaceships, all sorts of things at the side of the road that I've had to sort of just keep a little bit of distance from and some funny sort of shaped corners as well. So like it will start turning, it will go straight, then it will turn sharp again. So by the time I've come up to the sharp turn and I'm already sticking out on the other side of the road and then people are coming the other way and I've had to sort of just quickly stop and let them sort of squeeze past just so I can sort of continue. But just how it goes, isn't it? Eeny. <laughs> right. Let's uh, see where this place is. I forgot to actually check on internet to see uh, who's who, what's what and where's where. I'm pretty sure it's all for the same place. You know, I'm, not, I'm just sort of guessing it. Might be two places right next to each other, but we'll just see what happens with that one. What I'll do is I'll just throw all the invoices at them and they'll be like, oh no, that's not for us. I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> then they can tell me where it is then. <laughs> Bit of a miserable drizzly day. It's that fine rain that goes right through you. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we're in here somewhere. Where this Howden's building is. Not that we're delivering there. So the only things wouldn't we deliver are pallets. Not that we deliver pallets, we just don't deliver things on pallets. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here and find out. Uh, I don't know what unit number it is, I should have probably checked that. Does it say a unit number? It does not. Aha, there we go. This is it, yeah. Let's visit a park in, that's not for me. I am visiting, but I'm also leaving stuff here. Customer collections, no, goods inwards. In here? Oh, and the other one's just there, okay. Uh, tell you what, I should have probably gone in there first, because they're right at the back. <laughs> I'll turn around and go in there quick. So I will come back here in a minute. But first, I will go in there. That's funny, right next to each other. Right. No deliveries are down this way. There's a burger van there. I don't know if I should be taking my break yet. Uh, could do actually. Might as well while I'm here. Seems like a quiet estate, so why not? Alright, let's pop in here and do this one, and then I'll go do the next one, and then I'll see you after I've had my break. See you shortly. Typical. Bloody typical. Always away. <laughs> well, I got in two deliveries done, that was nice and easy. Backed on one bay, I took the pallets off, done the paperwork, brought it out to me. I was there like 15 minutes, and then went to the next place. Straight on the bay, backed on, took two pallets off me. 20 minutes, paperwork come out, signed. <laughs> now I'm off. I was gonna stop there for a break, but obviously the time I've done them two drops, a load of trucks have pulled up in the estate, blocking up the whole road. No way for me to stop, so I thought, bugger it. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna try and find somewhere else to stop. So I've still got an hour of working time and an hour and 10 minutes driving time before I have to stop, so. 
we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a bit of progress towards my last delivery, which is definitely on the way home. <laughs> um, try and find somewhere to stop on the way that has some sort of food and beverage vending facilities. So I will see you when I'm had a break and near my next drop. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so here we are just heading in towards Wellington now to go do my last drop. I had my 45 minute break, I didn't find anywhere decent to stop so I just stopped in a lay by in the end. Which was a bit crap, I would have rather had something to eat but there you go. Oh, I'll just stop somewhere in a bit and have something to eat and then shoot off straight away. Anyway, we've got to go in through the arse end to get to where I need to go. So it's a little bit funny and tight and we've got to go through a little housing estate here to get to the, the little industrial unit which leads to the back of the store I need to get to. But hey, that's just how things are. <laughs> Yeah, she's a little tight down here. It's not too bad, but sometimes you get cars. They try and be polite and wave you through, but it's like, there's no way I'm going to fit through there with you sat there, so... <laughs> I have to wave them through, even though it's my right away because of these passing places. So now it'll pay him to let me through, but that's not going to happen. Thank you, it'd be nice. Didn't have to park my truck in the trees, you know. There we go. Trim the hedges. <laughs> I should turn my lights on, really. My bad. Yeah, see, like this, it's gonna be a little bit tight for me to get past that car. We'll get through. We'll get through. There we go. There's a wheel, there's certainly a way. Alright, now we've got turn in here. See, sign trading estate trucks. <laughs> they must get a lot of trucks come through this way then. I obviously expect it. <clears throat> Don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or something. I'm rather um, phlegmy at the moment. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> Sorry for the graphic image. Eh? Yeah, sort of got sore and warm for the back of my throat so it's like I, I think I've got something coming on so that'd be exciting just in time for the weekend <laughs> hey it might go away you don't know uh, nothing promising as long as it comes now and not in two weeks because I've got a car show in two weeks I don't particularly want to be ill for that it's going to be bad enough being middle of April this year as it is being bloody cold uh, we'll see what happens with that no, you stay there, Mercedes, and I'll work around you. The thing is, all the cars park up around here, and you just don't have a hope in hell. Right. I can't go no further until you move, pal. Oh, I can a little bit. There we go. Alright, here we are. I'm going to do this delivery and then I'll 
see you when I'm done. Alright, that is that delivery done. That's all my deliveries done for today. Now I've just got a. Uh, bear with me a second. Two hour, 14 minute drive home. Which I am going to stop off on the way to actually get something to eat because I am starving. There you go. Can you stay there, Jetta. Thank you. Oh, BMW, what are you doing? Hold well on. I could have stopped by that turn and let him in, but eh, I'm not that nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I had two pallets off there and then two pallets back on, so they're not very heavy, so I've stuck them both on one side, to, so I only have to open one curtain when I get back. Saves a bit of time. Alright, so I'm gonna head back out on the M5, go up a junction or two. I can't remember how many it is now. And then back down on the 303 via the two something, something, something. Well, I'm not going to get through there with you, there, am I? Thank you. Yeah. Easy enough. <laughs> no major calamities. Jesus, people are sneaking out of everywhere today. The question is, I need to sort of snatch a bit of that side to come across to get out. So, could we react to this? There we go. I'll sit here for a minute and Luckily I haven't been caught out in it too much today, so, you know, my hair hasn't got too wet. Talking about my hair, I do need a haircut badly. Bloody horrible old greasy mop on my head. Need to get rid of it. <laughs> Irritating me. I miss out washing it for a day and it's just grease fest. <laughs> so attractive. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there, because there's not much point in filming anything else in the way out. So, uh, if you've got this far, then thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, click the little like thing in my jiggy. If not, then don't. Uh, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you get notifications. So your phone will go off every two minutes when I release a video. Only joke, I don't really release them that often. Uh, I release videos 8 p.m. Mondays and Thursdays. I'll try and stick to that schedule, but we'll see what happens with that. 
if it gets too much and I'll drop it down to once a week but at the moment I'm alright doing two days a week <coughs> hopefully I don't get too ill <laughs> uh, share it with your friends or people you think might be interested in looking at it watching it and uh, check out my Facebook page w.facebook.com forward slash truckerjohnno wake up well done off your phone <laughs> uh, you certainly get them. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Take it easy. Look after yourselves. Drive safely. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbyes!